666, the mark of the beast. Satan hide behind these numbers, disguising what he don't want to you see. January 16th, 1966, Havana, Cuba. This conference was attended by roughly 500 delegates from 82 different countries around the world under the false pretense of peace, harmony, and love, which was their slogan. These men of the world slept, cultivated by the spell of Satan, which distracted them with a lust for material things. This spell provided the perfect momentum and master decoy to create the Transcontinental Union in a satanic manifesto that would destroy the world and send every soul to hell. This is not a fantasy or conspiracy tale, as many of those followers of Satan will try to make you believe. This comes from someone who was there at that precise moment on the 16th of January, 1966. The master spy who infiltrated this conference, Dr. Julio Antonio de Marmo, has been following these disciples of Satan all his life across the world. This is his story and the product of his investigations over the past 57 years. Because he has tried to bring to public knowledge the existence of the satanic cult since the 60s and tell you the truth based on what he has witnessed with his own eyes, his enemies and your enemies have tried to kill him 56 times because of what he knows, only managing to wound him several times. In spite of that, he continues to expose the satanic cult and bring you the details of the magnitude of this criminal global organization that seeks to take your country, your freedom, your family values, and if that weren't enough, your lives. Dr. DeMarmo has made a warrior's commitment to continue to expose them for what they are until his last breath of life. In this motion picture, he will expose several heads of state and corrupted politicians who have sold their souls to Satan for a handful of money. He swears to put every single one of these enemies of humanity in service to Satan behind bars with your help and the help of God. Dr. DeMarmo prepares himself for another trip around the world to continue his fight against the spread of communism and to collect valuable information for the freedom fighters. He verifies that he has the needed money to grease the wheels and if necessary, pay off the informants, bribe officials, and ensure the security of his team should the need arise.